Hey there, Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley here tracking all the changes headed our way. Actually, I think all the uh, wild weather changes are the reason that my voice is so raspy, so I apologize for that. Uh, you know, coming off of this wild weather ride the past week, I think a lot of folks are feeling it too. I wanted to show you what's happening here across the region because it is headed our way. That's why a lot of road crews are prepping, preparing for those changes. So keep that in mind uh, as we've been talking about this being a rapidly changing from hour to hour event, especially midday to afternoon. Zooming in here a little bit more. Look at this perspective. There's some snow showers right now on the plateau, but it's 30 degrees in Crossville. The temperature just rose to 35 in Knoxville with a calm wind, but there's a colder wind kicking up in Crossville. So I wanted to show you those differences from west to central east Tennessee. That's why some of these flurries are trying to show up further east but not making it to the ground yet. It's kind of preparing for what is on the way, which is exactly what road crews are doing. So I actually want to go to Erica Lunsford. She is with our crews in Campbell County. Road crews there are prepping. Erica, what are they kind of expecting with this snowfall on the way? Heather, right now they're just preparing for the worst. Uh, they're hoping for the best in all situations, but they're just preparing right now. You can see, I'm going to step beside me here. You can see they are loading up their trucks right now. And a little thing that's different here in Campbell County, they don't use uh, sand like we see in Knoxville. They don't pre-treat the roads there with sand. They use what they call chat, uh, which is like a rock mixture. So they're loading up the crews right now so they can head out and take care of the roads. Now, I spoke with Campbell County Road Superintendent Ron Dilbeck. He tells me that, you know, the, the challenges that they face here, uh, this is not a lot of areas where things are flat. They have lots of mountains, so they have to go up and down, you know, the roads here. So they want people, if they are out in this area, to be careful when that snow does start to arrive here in the area. So far, they don't have any rain or snow right now, but they are just trying to get the crews prepared and ready for the worst right now, Heather. Oh, that's good to know, though. Thank you very much, Erica. Actually taking a live look now into Cumberland County, I wanted to show you the differences here where I was just showing you Crossville versus the valley, that uh, snowfall trying to develop there. Look at just that blanket of cloud cover. I want to take this full for you here just so you can see uh, just limited visibility. Now, this is a mounted dash cam on our photographer's car here, so all safety measures being taken into account. Uh, just notice that kind of hazy view. Oh, I saw a few flurries flying. Uh, I know it's sad. I'm from here, right? I get excited over a few flurries. But again, that's just that first indication of what is on the way. Those changes headed our way. So going back to my graphics here, you can see it full a little bit easier. That snowfall, see a little brighter white spot there of a cross film the leading edge of flurries, the shades of gray reaching east, but the five degree difference from Knoxville to Crossville is enough to gonna cut off that snow yet. Keep it going, kind of Campbell County, La Follette area. That's where Erica's keeping an eye on things as well with those road crews. So we really are north, south, east, west, central. We got you covered here right now, even and of course throughout the rest of the day. So let's jump ahead. As I mentioned, conditions right now do vary from west to east. It's 38 in Newport. Again, you're gonna continue to rise into the midday to early afternoon hours. 30 though, Crossville, you're pretty much getting cut off on your warming now, 32 Williamsburg to 35 at Knoxville. That's one of the reasons why we're seeing so much change moving forward. That's why we have your first alert weather day starting late morning to midday because visibility starts becoming a concern when you get these bursts of heavier snowfall. As we get into the midday to afternoon hours, that's when we're going to have some issues with roadways. Uh, we've been looking at the, the TDOT cameras in Middle Tennessee, where there's already an accumulation on the interstates, the major roads that are treated well by TDOT, and there's accumulation on the interstates there, and that's headed this way. Back roads, of course, are a bigger concern too because they don't get treated, you get your hills, I mean, many of us just got to get out of our own driveway through a neighborhood before we can get to any of these roads. So use caution moving forward. Power outages are a concern because of that heavy, wet snow that's coming in at first, especially when you're getting dropping temperature. That's always a concern. So just kind of keep that in mind as these accumulations do vary in our area. So let me show you that kind of big picture snowfall potential map for you. Again, starting midday today, building up this afternoon to evening as the bulk of the snowfall which is why conditions can change from lunch break to the time the kids would get out of school. Luckily, a lot of schools kind of took that warning and either just canceled for the day, took a half day. So keep that in mind, too. We do have early dismissals that you can find on the WVLT News app and WVLT.TV uh, right there at the top. We've got a lot more for you there going forward, too.
So that is the good news. As we go into the second half of the day with this first alert, I want to point out that we do have that brief rain for some little wintry mix, but then it really is all snow. So this morning to midday is our transition point, just like we are seeing right now. We are right on track. Then more snowfall this afternoon and evening, and that's why those slick roads are a concern. And then tonight, scattered snow showers become spotty, stays below freezing. That's another one of our concerns. Meteorologist Kyle Granger is actually also here. He'll be joining me at noon. He's going to go into a little greater detail for you on to the, kind of the risks in the, involved when you're talking about an extended freeze. So a lot we're monitoring for you here behind the scenes as well. Let's go into this forecast a little bit more. Moving forward with that timeline, those bursts of snow showers are showing you now on the plateau will continue to spread east by midday. Again, some of that mix, some of that rain on the front edge quickly changes over to snowfall just because temperatures are cold enough. It doesn't have to be freezing. It can be cold enough in the mid to upper 30s to start seeing that snowfall. Notice we're spreading out to really an 80% coverage in snow early afternoon, 100% coverage in snow going into the afternoon to evening. And that's where we just kind of cover up our area with some of those bursts of heavier snow, those deeper purple colors you see there. And that's something else we're monitoring for you throughout the afternoon as conditions will be changing from one hour to the next into that evening commute time frame. Playing this out through the late evening, notice we start getting some more scattered snow showers. That means it becomes a little more on and off, light to moderate, still some bursts of heavier snow, especially in the foothills to mountains and then far northeast Tennessee, tapering this off even more so to spotty later on tonight. But that's when we'll switch gears on our first alert for the concerns being that extended freeze. So here's a close look. If you haven't caught this before, we always do a forecast where you live on WVLT News. We have a lot of different versions of it because let's be honest, the forecast where you live can vary greatly just on a regular every day with temperatures. So snowfall event, yep, you got it, big differences. Looking at the Southern Valley, notice a few tenths to half an inch climbs up closer to at least an inch as you get up into the Central Valley, like Rhone to Loudoun to Knox County. But notice some of these variations. I even tried highlighting the terrain here a little bit better, or the, the snow contours as we call them. See some of these shades of blues. That's where I'm trying to show you those small differences that can be around town, picking up a little heavier snowfall potential in North Knox County and Southeast Blount County before you even get into the Smokies. The difference between Sevierville to Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg before you even get into the Smokies. So I wanted to highlight some of those nuances a little bit easier for you with this snow forecast where you live. Again, zoomed in on the plateau now across northeast Tennessee. You can see those spikes of one to two, then three to four, those shades of purple, four plus, getting up here into southeastern Kentucky as well. Again, these are the areas in the winter storm warning as well on the plateau to southeastern Kentucky and far northeast Tennessee. So as we move forward with this snow forecast where you live, again, we show every county in our area, far northeast Tennessee as well. You see that difference of one to two with isolated higher amounts. Again, some of those three to fours in parts of Union to Claiborne to Hancock counties. That's why y'all are included in the winter storm warning. And then, of course, the smoky is always our most impressive snowfall because, well, it just jumps right over the valley, starts snowing, and then the valley starts kind of playing a game of catch up. So in terms of what you can expect using caution, we do have that variation and that quick change from some rain to mostly snow during the day. That's our big concern with today's first alert. Tonight, we could have some issues on the roads, which would be that snowfall continuing. Actually, I want to take you really quick to the roads in Cumberland County. Look at the difference now. We're losing some visibility here. The snow is heavier. The snow is sticking on the side of the road. Of course, the grass and your, your shoulder there running colder. But notice we're starting to see some of the snow tracks on the interstate as well. Again, this is a dash cam safely mounted on our photographer's car there. So we're, we're trying to take all safety measures into account just to be able to show you some of those issues, that difference. Again, this is why we do have that WVLT first alert day active now. That snowfall continues into the evening, into the early overnight, becomes spotty later tonight. Temperatures do not get above freezing until Saturday afternoon. You heard me. If you're like me, you lose track of your days of the week. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Temperatures don't get above freezing. And then Saturday, we finally can break this cycle. So really, if you think about that in terms of impacts, conditions can rapidly change. Right, just like I showed you from Cumberland County with our photographer's webcam a moment ago. Conditions have changed in just that loop he's making around the interstate. So they can change quickly. And especially if you take you know, one main road that's been treated to a back road and progressively get into these roads that never see the light of day. I know I, I travel a, a good little ridge line going to my in-laws in South Knoxville that uh, is usually one of those spots that I would avoid basically this time of year altogether, especially as temperatures are dropping and conditions are rapidly changing. It means you can get some slushy puddles that then change over 
to some patches of ice, especially with a deep freeze. We talked to Mark Nagy with TDOT this morning on WBLT News, and he was reminding us that when it gets that cold, they have to keep treating roads. So they have to keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it to keep it from refreezing. So that's just something to keep in mind. That's one of our concerns with our extended first alert. Now on the lighter note, because this is all my kids that care about, when they found out Knox County was canceled today, of course there was a big loud screaming and yelling. I wish I'd caught it on video. Okay, the fun part of it, the snow much fun scale. Right, we're gonna be able to have some snowball fights. It's just differences from west to east on that timing, right? First, we're starting off with that transition of that snowfall into those puddles. Like you can see right here in Cumberland County, that snowfall continuing. Then we slide into sticking on trees like we're seeing in Cumberland County right now. And then we slide into the fun side of it with those snowball fights. So keep that in mind as we move forward. Here's that timeline for you going into Friday. Because remember, by this point, it is spotty. Sorry, I took my microphone down real quick so I didn't cough in your ear. You're welcome. We do have some spottier snow showers left over. Flurries of Friday morning, and then this does all clear out. So the concern tomorrow is actually on those temperatures. So I wanted to highlight that planner for you really quick on Friday as we do have that rapidly changing view today and tomorrow, the leftover freeze. So very important to keep in mind. Then we talk about a high on Friday of 30 degrees below freezing. That's why we have a first alert, but there's a cold wind. Temperatures are going to be in the teens Friday morning, but feel like closer to 10 in the valley. That's our warmer spot. Temperatures will actually be in the single digits, outlining the valley in the higher elevations Friday morning, and then back to that same teens to single digits Friday night. So make sure that you're using caution and that you're safe, and it starts all with this first alert weather day for this snowfall. Again, I'm gonna give you one last look here in Cumberland County. Again, in just these few minutes that we've been chatting, look at those rapidly changing conditions. Snow starting to stick even more so to the interstate, so these are our main heavily traveled treated roads. TDOT's doing a lot for us. There's only so much they can do around here. Shoulders are already snow covered. Trees are already snow covered. Visibility dropping off. All this is moving west to east. If you missed that timeline or you're looking for the snowfall potential where you live, I will stop talking this so you can pause this and back up or just jump in our WVLT First Alert weather app. I actually just posted some updated custom videos for you and they are right there ready to go. We're always updating you via that WVLT First Alert weather app.